And now it's time for Chamber Chat. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> You're not special <laughs> enough to be part of the Chamber I'm Chat. Not. It's time yeah. for a sit down with Brian Johnson of the Fulton County Community Foundation. Is it the Fulton County Community Foundation or should I go by Northern Indiana Community yes. Foundation? Okay. We, an- we answer to both. <laughs> Same organization. It was one of those questions I've always wondered, so it yes. just kind of came out today. Yeah. Yep. Same organization. <laughs> do do good work in, in three counties. The Northern Indiana is actually a three-county association, Fulton, Miami, okay. and Stark County. Um, and Fulton County, obviously, is specific to Fulton County. But same organization. Okay. So you are correct on both instances we have answers now we do (laughs) hey we've got a few things going on at the foundation um wanted to mention a couple of things that we've been able to help provide grants for um the first of those is the kiwana fall festival Mm. big thing coming up this weekend friday saturday sunday i think everything kicks off about four o'clock on friday afternoon runs through sunday afternoon so that is um, correct always a good time i i know this doesn't translate very well on the radio but if you're watching this on rtc you'll see this brochure that has all this entertainment yeah um, some really neat things um we, we usually go over with the family and enjoy a day or an afternoon or an evening of, of fun stuff. Um, anywhere from illusionists and escape artists to um, one that our family has enjoyed in the past is Dr. Cletus Hillbilly Silly Science Spectacular. Mm. Kind of a fun thing. It is. I never knew science was fun, did you? I always thought science was fun. Hey. So. This kind of science is real fun. So, but activities for everybody, and um, it's it's an exciting thing um, that's going on for the community of Kiwana. Um, there's a lot of free entertainment, um, a lot of um, rides. Um, part of the goal of the organization that put the puts this on Kiwana Heart and the Mate family um, is to make things affordable for anybody who goes. So, um, lots of fun things going on. Um, another note that I wanted to, to make is um, the grand opening for the Richland Restoration Nature Park. Ooh. Um, that is the park that's out north of town on 450 between Old and New 31. Um, they've been working on that park, um, and they're going to have a grand opening on Saturday, um, Saturday at 10 a.m., Okay. So uh, the public is invited. Um, come out, check out the park. Um, they've got a number of things going on out there. I know the the dog park has been a big topic of discussion out there, um, and they're still working on that. They've had to had some some delays with with state related things, um, so they're um, delayed a little bit on that. But that project is still in progress um, and we're looking forward to that happening but they've got some neat um, areas out there with some trails through the property it's about 60 acres and a really diverse property and um, some neat opportunities so if you're not doing anything Saturday and you want to check out the new park they'll have some tours of the different areas um, we'd love to have you join the the Fulton County Parks Department um, for this so some other news um, recently, as as in yesterday, we Ooh. were able to award some grants um, through the Fulton County Women's Giving Circle. Okay, of course, this is a group. This is the eleventh year of grants, um, so they'll be um, right at seventy thousand dollars in grants distributed to organizations. And um, this year, they had five organizations that um, received grants. So, um, receiving a thousand dollars is a project to create some new pickleball courts here in Rochester. Um, the courts will be over by the um, city pool in a parking lot that's going to be resurfaced and striped and fenced um, specifically for pickleball. So that project will be receiving $1,000. The Kiwana Union Township Public Library will be receiving $1,000 for some youth programming. Um, the library is, is a really neat organization in Kiwana. It kind of serves as a community center and the hub of um, everything that's going on community-wise in Kiwana. 
Receiving $2,000 is the Times Theater for some concession stand renovations. They've been working diligently on that project to, to get the building opened and available for um, community events and gatherings. So um, looking forward to that coming in the near future. But that project's receiving $2,000. Also receiving $2,000. Um, is the Recovery Cafe, um, a new organization in our community to help provide some after-hour transportation and, and transportation for its members around to various needs and events. So um, excited to be able to support that. And then um, receiving $3,000 was the Rochester Splash Pad. Okay. I think it's ironic that we're talking about a splash pad on a damp morning here in rochester but um, damp cool morning at that this this has been a big conversation for the last few years this is going to be going in um, over at the rochester city park um, just to the south of where the main playground equipment is at okay. manitow mountain so i'm um, looking forward to that project um, going in in the near future so exciting to see that thank you to all the women who made these grants possible um, the way the women's giving circle works is members donate 120 dollars a year and half of that goes to an endowment fund to build for future grants um, and that fund has grown to over seventy-five thousand dollars and is helping provide a considerable amount of grants and the other half of the 120 dollars goes to make immediate grants like this each year so if there are women that are listening that are interested in joining this group don't hesitate to give us a call or stop by our office or check us out online um, we'd love to have you join the more more members we have the more grants can be made but this year the the group was able to distribute nine thousand dollars in grants which is really a a great total so thank you to all the members who made that these possible and um, we're looking forward to um, some additional grants in the future from this organization so well those are some of the current events that we've got going on yes today we have a special guest with us um, joe coke from the fulton county remc um, the ceo for another couple of months three months four months maybe uh, probably have it on your calendar marked December 15th yeah. December 15th he's got the date in mind so but we wanted to talk to Joe um, a couple of reasons um, the first was this thing called Fulton County REMC operation roundup I think you were the person that was kind of responsible for getting this up and going or you've taken care of it for a number of years That's, so. uh, I, I think Eldon uh, he, he really uh, brought it to everybody's attention and then uh, okay uh, we uh, we put it in place and uh, sort of uh, took care of it for the last seventeen years. Okay. Um, so so if I've never heard that term REMC Operation Roundup, maybe tell us a little bit about what it is, how it works. Um, our members uh, can round up their utility bill um, each month to the nearest dollar. And then those pennies uh, we put in an account that we have with the community foundation. And um, once a quarter, uh, we take take that money, uh, re review some applications. Uh, there's a bunch uh, of organizations that have received uh, funds from us, but they can make an application for those funds. Um, usually, uh, we have seven thousand dollars every quarter that we give okay. away. Um, applications are due the first uh, day of each quarter, so it'd be January first, April first, July first, and October first. Um, so there, there is still time to get uh, application in yet for October. Yeah. So, um, and uh, we started that in two thousand four, uh, and our first donations were done at our annual meeting and june at that time yeah, so yeah. we were kind of taking a trip back memory lane and you remembered a couple of the first first ones 2004 helped the fulton county ems with some laptops and some radios for the kiwana union township fire department i was yep. impressed that you pulled that <laughs> off the top of your head well you know the first one's always a memorable one i think yeah. so yeah. yeah um great it's a great program and yeah and uh We've given back uh, 
a, a large amount to the community over those 17 years. Yeah. So you, you talked about this being as a result of members rounding up and, and we're members of REMC at our house and have always been glad to participate that 25 or 36 or 53 cents that count the little yeah. bit extra and it's kind of neat to see that that turns into about twenty five thousand dollars every year it is neat and uh, you know i'm thankful to the members who who contribute to that and um it's you know uh, the most it could be is uh you know eleven dollars and 88 cents that was if your bill ended in oh one and we rounded up 99 cents so um so you think about that if you you know put twelve dollars to some cause every year just, yeah i mean that it really adds up and it, yeah. it's it's done a lot um you know we're at four hundred and forty one thousand yeah donated to uh That's... the communities uh, we serve uh over the last 17 years yeah. so um just some stats that I probably should have asked you about beforehand, but how many members are there in the REMC? And, and of those, do you have an estimate on the percentage that participate in their Operation Roundup? Uh, members, we have uh, just under 4,800, and I think our participation rate is right around, I'm going to guess, um, 4,400 of those. Okay. So, so. Uh, we have a tremendous participation. Yeah. And, um, and it's just a, it's enabled us to help more organizations in the community yeah. and um, so really appreciate uh, the members uh, doing that and allowing us to take those pennies and and do some yeah. good with them if you've got a member that out that's out there listening that doesn't participate right now but says hey you know what i i wouldn't mind if you go ahead and round my bill up how how would they go about doing that um they can contact the office at uh, 574-223-3156 um and and just uh, let them know that uh you know we we'd like to round up now so yeah and and you already mentioned a number i brought a visual aid which visual aids don't translate very well on the radio but for no, those no, watching on rtc so you may have to do the play-by-play -play on this for us paul but okay um, i went in yesterday and went through a list and of course joe mentioned four hundred and forty one thousand dollars so i'm going to drop this sheet of paper well, it is definitely bigger than you, Brian. I'm six feet tall, and I'm standing on my tiptoes to hold this. There's 12 sheets of grants that REMC Operation Roundup has given, and it's pretty cool when you start start looking through here. Of course, starting at 2004, and it's it's still going on now and will go on to the future i guess one question i'd have for you joe are there any that stand out to you over the history that you thought you know that was well, kind of a neat thing we, we did kind of talk about this uh but uh when uh, the tippy flooded and uh, there was uh, some people wanted to get together and, and help these people with some landscaping and sort of get their community you know their properties back together and, and I formed a little organization and uh, I think uh, and I don't remember what we gave them but I five hundred dollars maybe but just the fact that you know if there's you know there's just so many good people in this community and we look after yeah. one another um, that's it, that was one that you know sort of stood out to me and that was quite a while ago um, and and we've helped out several different organizations um, you know, another one was, uh, I think there was somebody that made dolls for kids with down at Riley and I know the pillowcase, uh, people, yeah. um, and it's just, it's, it's neat to see some of these things that most people don't know about what's being done. Yeah. And, uh, it's just, it, it just makes you feel really good about the community to see all these people, um, helping others yeah and it's neat i'm just kind of scanning through here uh, obviously there's things like first responders firefighters um, schools i see junior achievement mentioned on here a few times something coming up in the near future the car show blacktop yep. cruisers um, community events um, kiwana heart for the fall festival things yep. like that um, times theater is another one that that pops up on here but just really a a variety of of things going on and, and i think 
Um, for somebody that's listening that may not be aware of the service area, Fulton County RMC, I know it says Fulton County RMC, but you, you serve a really diverse geographic area and kind of spread these grants out throughout that area, yes. if I'm correct. Yeah, uh, we, we have uh, uh, three townships in Cass County. Um, go over to Winnemac along uh, uh, Highway 35 over there. Uh, do a little bit in Marshall County, uh, some in Miami County. Um, we got one service in Kosciuszko County and one in Stark County. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So, yes, I mean, it, it's, you know, the majority of our territory is Fulton County, but we do uh, go over to into Winnemac and Pulaski yeah. County and Cass County yeah. and Miami County. Well, it's, it's neat to see when you start looking back at all of these programs and how this – a lot of times, and, and we talked about like the Women's Giving Circle, the RMC Operation Roundup is the same way. There's 4,400 members making a contribution to this, and it turns into $25,000 a year. And over the last 17 years, almost $450,000. Yeah. Pretty neat to, to see how that has impacted the community. So, well, that was one of the topics that we wanted to talk to you about. <laughs> the other one is, is probably a little bit more personal. Um, we have this fund called the Clifford Coke Memorial Fund that that you and your family have established with the Community Foundation, I guess. First of all, my question is, who is Clifford Coke? Uh, that was uh, my father. Um, and we... Uh, He's he's been gone quite some time. I, I think I was uh, I just uh, was ready to turn seventeen when he passed. So, yeah. um, and uh, you had the program where uh, you know you matched two for one. Yeah. And uh, and I just thought you know it was the fortieth year of his passing when we opened that up and and I just wanted to do something um, you know to help the community some way yeah. um honor him i mean he was you know he was coaching junior girls softball and and in softball and he was you know 79 um so he's out and and we play golf and and whatnot but um so just to honor him and and um i just thought it was the right time yeah. um so we we did that um my sister and i uh she she wrote up the bio, I think, and yeah. and uh, I, I, if you want a little bit of that bio, we have that on our website on the the Fulton County page under the the funds. You can look for the um, Clifford Coke Memorial Fund, and that's a community fund, so that helps contribute to our community grants yeah. that we make every year. And, and really neat to to see how that goes, and and a neat way to to honor your father. I didn't ever have the opportunity to meet your father, but. Yeah. Um, through talking about him and, and reading his bio and talking to you and your sister, it was neat to get a little snapshot of what he was about. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it was it's uh, it, it was just something that I felt uh, you know I wanted to do, and, and my sister wanted to do it, and I asked her if she wanted to do it. And yeah. So uh, yeah, it's just a great way to just yeah. to keep his name alive and thoughts and memories alive. And, and those community funds again um, we've got a number of those that that while most of them aren't huge dollar amounts they add up to huge dollar amounts and this year we have over um, a quarter of a million dollars that we've been able to distribute um, throughout this year to that different awesome. projects so it's it's neat to see how all those small things add up into a big impact yeah. here in the community so. it's, you know that's just similar with all of the uh you know the the small funds that that go into the community fund and yeah the difference that can make i mean yes. on its own you know it's a, it's a small amount but just like operation roundup pennies yeah turn into dollars and in this this case dollars turn into yeah a quarter of a million dollars so you've probably heard the phrase how you eat elephant one bite <laughs> at a time. time yeah so it, it, the idea of little steps, a lot of little things add up to a big thing in the end. So, so well, I guess my question would be, we'll, we'll give you a couple minutes. If you have any thoughts you want to share about REMC or about your father or anything here as we wrap up the, wrap up the program. Um, well, I guess I, you know, it's been known that I'm going to retire and, and, um, I've been very blessed, uh, 
to have worked at the REMC for 23 years and uh, so um, in in serving the members in in um, thankful for a board that uh, understood you know giving back to the communities and and not only do we have operation roundup but we've rewired you know the fairgrounds and and it's in really good shape uh, that way I think we've got a couple buildings yet um, you know we've tested uh, poles at uh, the football field out here and some of the other ball diamonds and uh, went down and to Fulton and you know they had a windstorm come up yeah. two three weeks before uh, you know they were supposed to be playing and it, it uh, blew down one of the poles they were so rotten so uh, we went up there we took the day and and took down the lights took down the poles and and um, I think a year or two later we came back and and helped them with you know setting some poles for yeah. For I can verify there are lights at the Fulton Diamond thanks to REMC's help. <laughs> I can I can verify that myself as well. <laughs> you know, and and there's a backstop at Fanster Field uh, that was rotted, so you know we put that up. And, yeah. Um. It's just doing those things in the community and being there to if we can help uh, yeah. to do that and. Um, and I'm, I'm thankful for all of the employees because, you know, without them um, and their passion for the community that they that they live in, um, you know, we wouldn't be doing as much as, as, yeah. as what we do. When you say the employees, and I, we haven't talked about you, but I, I know there's a number of times I see you, things like Habitat for Humanity, other organizations kind of volunteering, so kind of setting the example for us to, follow, I guess I should say following in your father's. The Maybe, example yeah. here, so. <laughs> but really neat. Well, I'd like to say thank you on behalf of of the community and all the REMC members, um, like myself, and um, just thank you for what REMC does for our community. Thank you for how you've led this organization and and Operation Roundup, and also thank you for establishing a fund in, in memory of your father um, and helping make that quarter of a million dollars in community grants each year possible so any closing thoughts uh no thank you for the kind words and and uh just do what you know just i don't know just trying to make it better than what, what yeah. it is you yeah. know just just trying to help out that's that's a goal to a, achieve so <laughs> well we've been speaking with joe coke um who is the soon to be retired ceo of uh, fulton county remc thanks for joining us today joe um just wanted to to mention a couple of reminders about upcoming events um got the kiwana fall festival coming up this weekend um richland restoration nature park open house um, if you're curious about Fulton County Women's Giving Circle, we'll have some information on our Facebook page later today about the grantees on that. But, okay. Um, if anybody has questions about what we've talked about today, don't hesitate to give us a call, 224-3223. I'm going to have to get in the habit of adding that 574 here yeah. in the near future <laughs> to that. So, um, You can check us out online, um, our website, nicf.org. We do have the Fulton County REMC Operation Roundup grant application on that page, as well as REMC has it on their page. Um, You can check us out on Facebook, Northern Indiana Community Foundation, or if you can get there, you can stop by our office, 227 (laughs) East 9th Street. Looks like they're getting close to wrapping up the construction, but if you need to come in today, you'll have to use the the south route to get there. But we'd love to sit down and talk with folks about ideas. I was just glad you guys could get here today. (laughs) Yes, yes. Well, I walked. That was was the good thing. So, and it wasn't raining at that point. Yep. So. All right. Well, Brian, thank you very much. Um, Look forward to talking to you again next month. We're looking forward to it.